good night. It's Nurses Week YouTube, and today is the first day of nursing Nurses Week, and I would like to say Happy Nurses Week to everyone. I'm going to be doing an unboxing. I have a Food Hunters box here, and another um nice surprise that I got in the mail, and I can't wait to open that one up. Also going to be live on um Insta at the same time. And um, yes, so you're going to see all the deliciousness that I have for you today. Let me check in over here. I hope everyone is doing good. Um, I have my box here. Um, I'm going to click live right here on Instagram. Good evening, everyone. I hope everyone could see me good. I have a good angle on both ends. Yes, my name is Shanique, and today is the first day of Nurses Week. So happy Nurses Week to all the nurses. I want to say first, happy Nurses Week to my mom. My mother is, I'm a second generation nurse, right? Um, my mom has been a nurse since Jamaica. She went to Cornwall Original in Montego Bay. That's where I was born. We were, she was actually in um, Westmoreland and she forced my dad, she made my dad drive all the way from Westmoreland, if you know Jamaica, right? From Westmoreland to St. James so that I could be born in the same hospital that uh, she actually went to nursing school in. So. Big up to my mommy, Doreen. <laughs> yes. So, um, yeah, big up to all the nurses. I haven't worn my uniform in so long. Like, it's been like seven months. It just feels kind of weird. But, yes, I'm here. And I just want to say big up to all the nurses out there. I can't forget the the um, CNAs because you, without, the, without CNAs, without the LPNs, um, it's a teamwork. You know, I can't say happy nurses week without bigging them up also so tonight i'm going to be doing an um an, an unboxing i have two but two um boxes here which i'm going to open up um this one i have it's been a few weeks i'm going to tilt the camera a little bit so you could get a better angle a few weeks since a few days since i got this and and i'm just going to open this and let you see what it is and I also have some fruits from um, Fruit Hunters which I'm going to share with you so how is everyone doing tonight how is everyone doing where's everyone checking in from so first is this box I have here it says fragile on it and it's something that I've been looking forward to um, getting. Ooh, it's nicely packaged. And this is what it is. Oh, upside down. My cutting board. I got this from Fat Boy Woodworks. So, Japan. Big up Japan. <laughs> so, let me get this box down. Out the way. So see, look at this, how cool it is. It has my logo on it. And of course it have Jamaica on it. Big up Jamaica. I wish I was in Jamaica right now. <laughs> so look at my new cutting board that I got from Fat Boy Woodworks. Isn't it amazing? It has my logo on it. And um, I can't leave out Jamaica. Let me big up Jamaica. The land of food and water. <laughs> See? Isn't this cool? Look at that. That's so cool. I'm so happy. So I have this nice cutting board. I'm going to take the plastic off. Oh, I can't wait to use it. So nice. No mango. No, it's mango season. I, I saw a lot of people posting mangoes. I saw some... Julie, East Indian, beautiful, yes, it's beautiful, right, it's my cutting board, isn't that beautiful, it's so nice, 
I'm just taking out the plastic so they can get a better view. Ooh. Look at that. So nice. East Indian and Julie. Wow. Mm, I could, it's real wood. <laughs> yes. So this is my nice cutting board and uh, I can't you're gonna see it in all my videos from now on. So this is from Fat Boy Woodworks. Yes, Fat Boy Woodworks. That's where I got this nice cutting board. Just look him up right here on Instagram or um, I'm not sure if he's on YouTube, but he's on Instagram. Just look up Fat Boy Woodworks and you could get a personalized cutting board. Look at that. And you know we don't know we don't know if we represent Jamaica. Yes. So let's go on to the next box. This is my mouth is already watering, right? Because as you could see, it's clearly fruit hunters. Right? And um I've been looking forward to my box of fruits. And it's finally here. It came this morning. And you know with fruits, they're perishable. So as soon as you order your fruits, make sure you open them right away. And um, so that it don't spoil inside of the box. I'm going to turn it around. So big up fruit hunters. And my code for fruit hunters is Shanique Love. <clears throat> so Shanique Love is my code. And you could get 10% off if you use that code. Hi everyone. So everything is nicely wrapped up. And this is something nice already. I already see something nice. Look at oh, mango. I'm not sure what kind of a mango this is. It may be Haitian mangoes, I'm not sure. But it smells so good. Look at that. Nice. Oh, so I have a few of them actually. So you know, Shanique. Oh, man. I just need a bucket. I, I'm just going to need a bucket. And that's it. Like in Jamaica. Even though like sometimes I'll cut up my mangoes and put it nice for the photos and stuff like that. This is a Haitian mango. Okay. <laughs> it does look like a Haitian mango. So, um... We only eat mangoes with our teeth. We don't cut it up and do all of that. We just peel the mango with our teeth and just eat it just like that. That's how it's that's how we're supposed to eat that mango, right? Feel more grounded. <laughs> yes. So I have a few more mm, mangoes. So yeah, these are Haitian mangoes. And ooh, I have a yellow dragon fruit. Actually, I have two yellow dragon fruits. So, look at that. So, this is a dragon fruit. When you cut this one open, on the inside is white with like little black seeds. So, this is um, a yellow dragon fruit. Um, now, dragon fruit is like, it gives like a laxative effect. So, if you eat a dragon fruit, more than likely you'll use the bathroom. So, if you've never had it before, just eat a small piece to see how that works out because <laughs> you don't want to, you know, it, it really does. It's like a laxative. So I have two dragon fruit. Pretty cool. And I see mm, some guava. Now these are like the guava like we have back home in Jamaica, right? The small ones. And this look like the pig. This looks like the pink one. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it one open and see what color it is on the inside. I don't want to say the wrong thing. Okay. I'm going to cut one of these. This one feel riper. I'm going to cut it and see. Can you spell out the guy who does the custom board? Fat. F-A-T. Boy. B-O-Y. Wood. W-O-O-D. Works. <laughs> Oh, it's a white guava. It's the white ones. See? It's the white guava. It smells good though. Um, um, and works W O R K S, right? So yeah, so we have the white guava. 
It smells just like the, the pink one, but you know, because growing up in Jamaica, or guava is like green on the outside, and then you cut it and it's pink on the inside, and it's little and small, just like this one. Right? Um, I, I believe I put his name inside of my, um, <laughs> I put his name inside of my, uh, the description up top, Fat Boy Woodworks. And, oh look, I have a Hannah banana. I'll be making <laughs> like a lot of banana smoothies or I could make some banana bread for my family too I don't know um what you call this one because it's like a more purplish color like um purple banana I'm not sure I have to ask them from fruit hunters exactly <laughs> what this one is called I'm not sure does anyone know what this one is called it's like a purple banana so I have a hand of banana, a whole hand. No, <laughs> I see something in here that I recently made a video about and I know I told you how I felt about it, but I'm going to have to deal with it, right? I'm just going to have to do it, um, mix it with something else. But this one now is a tree tomato. See, it's a tree tomato. This one um, is like it has a hard skin on the outside. The skin is kind of like I have like almost like a bitterish taste. It's not so tasty. The skin part on the inside it's just like a tomato, but it's more like acidic, like citrusy to me. Um, yeah, so this is a tree tomato, right? And it looks just like a tomato if you cut it. Maybe I should cut it. I'm going to cut it so you can see what it looks like on the inside. Looks just like a tomato. No difference. Honestly. This one is like a more tart. More tart um, flavor. So this is what the tree tomato looks like. Just look just like a regular tomato. Alright. Have any one of you tried a tree tomato before? Yeah. And uh, the next thing I have in here, more guava. Uh, maybe this one will be better. Hopefully. <laughs> I got a papa. So it's papaya, I think it's called a red banana. Okay, a red banana. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So I got a papa. This one is not really ripe yet. Um, it's still pretty much green. And, uh, oh, you could even see the sap, like, the, coming out of it. So, freshly picked. I believe it was shipped off yesterday, and I got it today. So it's like, they do, like, an overnight shipping. So you get it really fresh and really quick. So I guess I'm going to have to make another <laughs> recipe with the papa. You know, I already told you all that it's not my favorite fruit. I will. Mother's Day is on Sunday. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. So what I can do is make a juice for my mom because this is like my one of my mom's favorite fruit. So I could. I hope she's not watching. <laughs> well, mommy, if you are watching, mommy, I have a present for you. <laughs> a papa, a papaya, right? So, yes, even though it's, you know, it's good for you, it's good for me, and all of that, it's just the taste. But, um, the video that I put up a reel today, and I showed that I actually add, I add, um, pineapple and some plums in it, and it actually helped with the taste. Happy early Mother's Day. Yes, same to you, Empress. Happy early Mother's Day. Yeah, it's big. It's big. And it's, it's wide, actually. It's, like, wide. I can't even put my... Look, I, I can't even put my hand totally around it. That's how wide it is. Yes. So, let's see what else. I have a, a little green banana here. It's a little tiny, tiny banana. I don't know which one, what this one is called. And... 
a very yummy one. <laughs> Looks like a heart. Do you see this? This sour salt is called a melon. What is it? Is it like a melon? Is what like a melon? It looked like a burrow. It does look like a burrow. It does kind of look like a burrow, but sometimes I see some burrow which are like a bit bigger than this. It does kind of look like a burrow. Look at this. The sour sap look just like a, like a heart shape. It's like a heart shape. Pineapple and plums mixed. The color was so nice. Looks delicious. Yes, thank you. It was delicious. And I still taste the, the papa in it, but it wasn't so like strong and like overbearing. So it kind of like, you know, neutralized. I didn't post it yet on YouTube, but I will have to post it on YouTube tonight or early tomorrow morning. And yes, so this is the fruits. Let me move this out of the way. Oh, and you can see my Nama juicer in the back here. And use my code Shanique ten for um, ten percent off um, at namawell.com. The link is in the bio. And don't forget to um, I'm gonna leave um, Fat Boy Woodworks information in my story, so you'll know exactly where to go and get your own personalized cutting board, right? <clears throat> and I'm just like, look at this. Uh, do you wait? For small bananas to ripe, how do you make it? Oh, I wait for them to ripe. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't eat green bananas. <laughs> yeah, so hi Shauna and big up Shauna Renee. Like Shauna Renee, if you are um, an influencer or you aspire to be an influencer, Shauna Renee is the she is especially I, I guess she she works with vegan she vegans she has um a company where um if you need help um in any which way she's so knowledgeable um you could just send a message to her um send her an email and uh, set up a consultation like she taught me so much she could help you like negotiate um, brand deals and everything so Shauna Renee she's right there um I'll, I'll also put her in my story so you could all find her there yes so so what's up no problem shauna shauna is the best <laughs> she's so sweet so look at this sour sap like this sour sap i'll give it like a day or two since it's warmer now in, in um new york um i'll give it like a day or two and it will be ready because it's starting to feel a little bit soft now you could eat sour sap as is. You could juice it. Um, you could make ice cream or nice cream with it. Um, the the you could do anything you want. And if you like at this stage, like it's still kind of firm. And um, I've made like some fish, like you know, mock fish alternative. And I used a sour sap. Um, this would be the stage that you use it no um or you know green it has to be like more of a green sour sap where it's firmer um it's easier to cut up and marinate i put some green seasoning and so forth on it it's on my youtube channel shanique the creative vegan so please go and follow me on youtube <laughs> so you could um see that recipe i have it up there i put and my green seasoning is also there I put some green seasoning over it and then I um, uh, bread it with some breadcrumbs. Is it sour or sweet? Sour sap, it has like a sour, it's, it's sweet when, it, when it's fully ripe, it, it's sweet. But it has like this, um, um, a little bit of tartness, a little bit of sour. It's not like, it's not totally sweet. So it's between sweet and sour, but it is delicious. And it's very good for you. It really is. It's said to help um, help kill uh, cancer cells. All right, it may. Okay. So this is a sour sap. Mm. And yes. So I got I have all the goodies. 
So uh, someone said this is a uh, blue, blue banana. You said blue or red. So it has like this purple, purplish look to it. Right? It's pretty cool. And I have my cutting board, and I'm happy. Anyone have a uh, look? Big up Brazil, love from Brazil, big up Brazil. Maybe one day I have to visit um Brazil. I don't, I can't speak any Portuguese, but I'll I'll try. <laughs> I'll try. Yes. So yes, yeah, so a uh, overview of all the fruits that I received from Fruit Hunters, sour sap, and it's shaped like a heart. It's like a heart shaped sour sap. So cute. I have the bananas and I have some guava, but it's the um the white ones, the white Mexican guavas. It smells good. Also have a tree tomato. Some yellow dragon fruit. Um, I'm gonna make a nice little video with the yellow with this one. It's white on the inside. Uh, someone asked me how can you tell if your dragon fruit is pink on the inside. Most of the times it's labeled um, like red, red dragon fruit or white. It's, it's pink on the outside but when you cut it on the inside it's either white or red. So um, I would ask someone who works in the store what color it is so you won't be disappointed when you go home and you open it and it's a white one and you really wanted the red one right and I have some Haitian mangoes which mm, smells so good <laughs> and I can't wait to I'm gonna make it ripe a little bit maybe tomorrow it will be good and I have my the one I have a love-hate relationship with it's Papa we call it Papa in Jamaica, but it's called a papaya in Spanish, I guess. So this is a papa, right? So these are my fruits. I have such a beautiful display over here on YouTube. They can see all the fruits on the floor, on the counter. Nice. And this, this, I'm so happy about this. Finally, um, there's a question. Do you have? I'm gonna have to. Uh, let me see if I can read that question. I have to pull it back up. Do you have people who are under you who sell for you? I've seen someone selling your items with your sticker on it. Uh, send me a message or send me that information. Up where you saw that I, I have another page my creative vegan page I have two page I have two well I have three Instagrams at this moment because I have another backup page but um, you will see creative vegan um, creative underscore vegan which is me uh, so if that's the one you're talking about that's me <laughs> so um, and most of the time it's like Whatever I post on this page, I'll post over there. But creative, ve creative underscore vegan is also me, right? And I have the same. Um, I have this logo there, and everything. Cutting board wicked. Yes, it looks super official. Yes, that's true. Renaissance. It really like this. I'm official now. So, um, Reina from the Reina's Kitchen have one, and I'm like, I saw it. I'm like, Reina. Where did you get your cutting board from? And she was like, she told me it was Fat Boy Woodworks. And the last time we, I was here live with Reyna, um, he came on, on the live. And I'm like, I want one too. And guess what? He took my information and look. And now I have my own. So if you want your own personalized cutting board, um, Fat Boy Woodworks, right? Is the man for that. And this is, smells like oak. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll double check on that and see what type of wood it is. 
and um, my logo is engraved in it and of course I have my Jamaica flag because I was born in Cornwall original Montego Bay Jamaica right St. James big up St. James big, big up Hanover I was brought up in Hanover in the hills of Hanover Clifton district as Kinnish Pio right I'm a country girl um, my father is from Westmoreland, so I'm from Sab, so I'm all uh, everybody is from that side of the country, right? But big up Kingston, same way. I have friends and family there also. Um, Spanish town everywhere, Clarendon. Yes, hi, hi everyone. Yes, so this you love it, right? Yes. <laughs> love it yes yeah, so any more questions and oh i can't forget my i have my juicer in the background and as i said today is um the first day of nurses week happy nurses week to all the nurses big up all the cnas all the lpns everyone you know big up all the rns everyone so i'm so happy about this about my cutting board and my fruits and I will be showing you some nice recipes with it. I was born in Lucy, yes. And you grew up in Clarendon, went to school in oh, yeah. See, so all over the place like me too. And you went to school in South. Big up all the nurses, yes. Hi Shishan. Hi Kimmy. <laughs> Big up all the nurses. Yes, yeah, we're, we're all over the place. Are you a nurse too? Yes, I'm a registered nurse. Um, I'm a registered nurse, but now I'm a full-time um, entrepreneur, content creator. I no longer work um, as a registered nurse, but I, I'm, I still have my nurse's license. I'm still a nurse. And I'm a sec second-generation nurse. True heroes that make hospitals work. Yes, those are the true heroes. So you have to big up from everybody from, from the CNA to the LPN. You have to big up all the all the nursing staff to the RNs yes <laughs> she's a nurse yes I am <laughs> so yes big up and my as I said if you didn't catch the beginning of this my mom I'm a second generation nurse my mom um, who is my everything my inspiration everything my mom is also a registered nurse she went to Cornwall Regional nursing school um right there in st james um she was the first nurse in her in her community and um i continued that tradition um i don't know if my daughter will become a nurse but if not it's all good i've been wanting to ask you about your juicer okay ask me about my juicer the person who made your cutting board where is he located um, so I'm not sure where he's lo he's somewhere here in the US I'm not sure which state um, but I will definitely put all of his information inside of my story as soon as I get off here but um, my mom is from Spanish town and my father is from Trelawney yes make up Spanish town and Trelawney Trelawney is um, where Usain Bolt is also from right and my cousins are from, from Spanish town. They went to St. Diego. Hi, big up Andrina and Oret. Where did you get it from or what kind is it? Okay, so no problem. So I have one juicer here. This one is the Nama J2. Um, if you look in the link in my bio, you'll find all the information um, on it. And I also have a code. Oh, the one you use with the cheesecloth. Okay, that's my pure juicer. Now my pure juicer is right over there. It's too heavy for me to pull over to show you because it's like 65 pounds. It's like all stainless steel. So the pure juicer, um, I also have that information inside of my, um, the link in my bio are for um, YouTube. For YouTube, it's, you could go to purejuicer.com. Use my code uh, pure. P U R E creative with a K K R E A T I V E. So pure creative. That's the one that you see 
Um, I don't have any of the, the like the cheesecloth, the press cloth around here, so I can't show you. So um, yes, so that one, yes, thank you so much. No problem. If you use my code, you could get ten percent off of the pure juicer. Yes, and um, it is cold press. I only use cold press juicers because like I only give cold press juice to my <laughs> to my customers. Um, all natural, everything is just hundred percent juice, no water added. Yeah, okay. And um, so, <clears throat> which fruits do you recommend for bloating? Okay, for bloating, um, pineapples. Pineapples are good for bloating. Um, also, um, ginger helps some people. Some people not so much ginger. Um, some people. Uh, depending on, on your situation, ginger will or won't help you. Yes. Um, you made my night. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you thanks. Yeah. Um. Yes. The pineapple. Yes. Yeah, so yes, the pineapple. Um. Will help with the bloating. Papa is good for di to help with um to break down foods um because of the enzymes in it. And um, do you ship your juice? No, I don't. I'm sorry. Only if you're in New York right now, like Brooklyn, Bronx. Um, I'm sweating. My nose is my nose is sweating. They, they, from when I was a little girl, they told me that I'm I'm bad because I'm sweating from my nose. <laughs> um, somebody said I'm going to school to be a holistic nutritionist. Oh, lovely. That's nice. That's nice. Um, I'm all about um natural medicines. I'm about um using if you can using nature to um heal yourself you know there are certain cases where people are far gone and they need um they need um other methods but you know i'm all about i'm all for it where can you buy where can you buy what would you like to buy please be more specific yeah but i'm so excited about my cotton board and you'll be seeing this one in all my videos from now on <laughs> right it has my nice creative vegan here and it have my jamaica right here that's all that's all i need um if you could be much more specific in the question i could answer you yeah but yeah, so pineapple, papa, and plum. It's actually that combination that I um, posted earlier today, that reel I posted earlier today. That one was very good, so you can use that. And I'll be posting more. Let the food be that medicine. Yeah, your medicine, your food. Yes, so true. Um, I will be posting more um, videos on gut health. I love it so happy for you you're such a sweet soul I can just sorry I can just tell oh thank you so much the juice in New York send me a DM um for about the juice in New York you're truly amazing and your products and your products life-changing everything natural um, is the best way especially after the pandemic I can imagine you're an amazing nurse thank you continue to share positive vibes thanks and that's the thing that's what happened with me like after i got sick during the pandemic like my whole um my i've been having some issues with um with my gut like with gut health so that's why i'm like right now i since the beginning of this month i've been back and forth with being raw and um whenever i do go raw vegan it I find that I am uh, at a better state um, and uh, I for the what today's what the what the fifth or the sixth today's the sixth right um, I've been re raw for the past six days um, so I'm going to be posting more of the whatever foods that I eat um, I'm gonna be sharing some raw recipes with you all um, juices and so forth um, because you know I have to 
I'm going to you I'm going to use this my fruits and everything to um, heal myself I teach a life class are you able to share a few gems and answer a few questions for my students send me a mess send me a DM um, send me a DM now so I'll see it sometimes um, the DMs get lost because sometimes I really do get a lot of DMs and I try to answer as much as I can. So send me a DM now so I could, um, we could discuss it, All right? So I'm definitely going to be using um, these foods to help me heal. Um, I spoke to fruit hunters and I'm like, uh, I'm raw, I need some fruits. And they send me all these delicious fruits. So. Um, I'm going to be sharing you sharing with you more recipes um, before I did the soursop and pineapple That's also a good combination. I have some soursop frozen inside of my um, refrigerator um, I'm going to make like maybe a smoothie with it and I will share that all with you Yes, so um with my the juices that I have like juicing actually really helps because it cuts down time on um, like instead of preparing a meal I might just pop some fruits right inside of my juicer and in no time I have something to um, to to drink you know to um, nourish my body this sour stuff I can't wait to make um, some nice some nice um, recipes with this one Mm, so yes and um yeah any other questions and as I said before this is from fat boy woodworks with the beautiful the beautiful cousin board and of course it has my logo on it and everything and I'm happy for this my fellow nurse, big up. <laughs> yes, big up Maya. Yes, so, yes, it's nurses week. Um, so big up all the nurses. Is that figs? Yes, it's figs. <laughs> figs are, they're comfortable. And uh, yeah, um, I, and the material is just nice and soft. I've always, have you always been vegan? Um, I have not always been vegan. I've been vegan for 19 years now. Um, I was pescatarian um, a few years before that. Like I started this whole journey in 1999. Um, long, um, so I, I was a pescatarian then. Um, so which juices are good for diabetes? Um, let me finish up. So as a pescatarian before then, um, I ate fish, but I didn't have any dairy or anything like that. It was just like only fish and um, and everything else was plant based. And then I became totally plant based 19 years ago. And May, May 94. I, um, and um, the other question, diabetes. Okay, diabetics. Juices for diabetics, I would go with green juices. I would stay away, like, you know, not the fruits. You stay away from the fruits. Good um, cucumber juice, um, uh, kale, uh, celery. So that's good for diabetics. Um, don't... Fruits in like moderation, very, very, very small amount of fruits. Um, and try to, you know, have like more like green juices and stuff like that. Let me see this other question. Um, that's a long time. I've, yes, I've been trying to shift to pescatarian um, to the pescatarian lifestyle because of, yes, because of fibroids. Um, it, it takes time, you know, like, um, what, what I did was. I wasn't big on red meat, um, but what red meat, you know, Jamaicans, oxtail all over the place. So that was like the only red meat that I did eat. So I stopped the red meat first. Um, then I 
uh, stop the chicken and then I stop the fish so you know you just sometimes you have to wean yourself off slowly or sometimes you just go cold turkey um so yeah he's on probiotics Pro, um this is brand of probiotics which is actually plant um plant-based I'm gonna find the name of it and I'm gonna share that with you um this to see if that will help but try to incorporate things like papa uh -huh, in his diet um, I don't like it either but it's good for me so um, try to like add it with other different fruits and see if that will help I eat red meat for iron I eat I, I'm I was also anemic especially during my pregnancies and I ate leafy greens leafy greens are good for iron beets beet juice if you drink beet juice every day your iron going good I'm telling you you don't have to go to meat for iron um so same here I'm trying to get all the questions I'm sorry um um the um tofu foods from what I understand irritate um, his so whatever irritates him stay away from it like you also have to listen to your body. Um, you've been Presbyterian for four years now. Okay. You sent me the DM grade. I will look for that. <clears throat> Garden of Life has really good vegan vitamins, etc. Papa, yes. Um, beet, celery, carrot, etc. I juice them to help. Yes, that definitely helps. Um... Definitely, like, um, there are certain foods, like, to me, um, when I, I, um, it's been, I said, as I said, 19 years since I've been plant-based, like, whenever I go to, uh, get my checkup at the doctor, my children, when they get their physical, they're never lacking in anything, once you eat a complete, um, thank you, <laughs> Um, once you eat a, a complete balanced diet, like, that's why <clears throat> people always say, like, eat the rainbow. Once you eat different fruits, like, with the different colors, each color gives you a different vitamin and nutrient. Once you incorporate a lot of different um, foods inside of your diet, are you also, are they also vegan? Yes, my children, yes, everybody in this house is vegan. <laughs> since birth like I, I couldn't do it any other way I would not I would not um, cook no chicken in a pot <laughs> like seriously like I would not give it to my children what I'm giving the how I'm nourishing my body myself is the same thing that I'm going to give to my children the same thing I would give to my mother my mother is not vegan but um do you take vitamins? I don't take vitamins. I take, um, I don't take vitamins. I just take sea moss. I'll put some sea moss inside. And that's a, another thing. Sea moss has like so many nutrients in it that um, you don't need to add any other supplement. And I, as I said before, I try to eat um, a lot of fruits and veggies. Um, I always have fruits. In my house I always have like um, different kinds of vegetables different colors um, and that's what my family we all eat yeah so um, yeah my children I can't I can't be, I can't be on here promoting vegan food I tell food in jo okay so in Jamaica right from 19 Olam I tell is what we we knew of Rasta. I'm Rasta, right? Rasta people always eat uh um our I tell diet. Um, you are so beautiful. Oh, thank you, thank you for hearing. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I need CMOS videos. I have some soak. I have some soaking for a week now. Why so long? And my dad is telling me to add rum, nutmeg. <laughs> Um, all right, so in the curb, 
Caribbean, a lot of men, mostly, at, like when growing up, <laughs> I don't know about the rum part, right? <laughs> growing up in Jamaica, it was mostly the men who actually um, took CMOS, right? The gym, like in Jamaica, mostly the men, and they, they take it because um, it, it's supposed to give you stamina, right? So a lot of um, growing up, it was just mostly men who drink who drink um, sea moss, and most of the time we call it Irish mash. Most of the times they'll add like peanut, they'll add guineas, they'll add oats, um, a lot of different things, and of course they have to put some nutmeg to like to spice it up, and some people put even condensed milk to sweeten it and so forth, and. And that's how, thanks for the follow, Jason. Thanks for following. And that's how they used to do it in the Caribbean. Uh, I have to start over. We're Jamaica, and then he's steering me wrong. Well, I <laughs> uh, we have drunk, um, taken care of these. We have, um, have have me drunk taking care of these patients <laughs> so that's the thing like that's why i'm saying jamaican men they, they you they'll put alcohol in theirs and it's supposed to be a, like um aphrodisiac it's supposed to give you stamina all of that so when i heard that i'm like i understood why but you don't have to i don't like i will i've been procrastinating i need to do more videos on like how to soak your sea moss how to wash it properly how to soak it and then i use a vitamix like i have my vitamix here like a high speed blender and i get it nice and smooth and thick don't take the uh, rum rum <laughs> that's not like rum punch rum punch sea moss and go take care of patients <laughs> that's funny yes but yeah that back home that's how like before i even like this whole cmos wave like the cmos um wave here in the u.s growing up in jamaica the man them used to take you see cmos trunk back all of them things there mm, you're inspirational you're in, you inspired me to get my juicer oh thank you thank you I'm glad that you're joining me on your juicing journey. Um, take your time. You're still balancing another job. Um, actually, build up, build up them back. Yes, build up them back. Trunk back. We just a trunk. Trunk meaning strong. Back. Your back. Make it back strong. Um, no, actually, I'm a full-time entrepreneur right now. I'm not currently working as a registered nurse, but I still have my nursing license. And yeah, I'm full-time entrepreneur, content creator. So support, support your small businesses. Support my creative vegan page, right? <laughs> yes, Rosaya, big up Rosaya. Rosaya, I miss you. You need to do my hair. <laughs> Rosaya is my lactician. <laughs> ah, yes. So, yeah, big up um everybody. So, yeah. <laughs> um uh that's the life I'm still trying to get out of this currently. A travel Listen, big up travel nurses. Big up to all the travel nurses because I know it's not easy. Are you in Florida? No, I wish I was in Florida. Um, if I was in Florida, you would see me with like fruits, much more fruits. I'm in New York actually right now. Hey, Rosaya, I'm actually in New York, and um, yes, I should come and relocate and come down to Florida because honestly, me tired of this weather. Either like yes, I need to come somewhere south somewhere south because I'm tired of this weather the winter or even hey I would move to Jamaica if I can you put you put me on to the fruit company down here oh yes fruit hunters so fruit hunters they are let me see this sticker right here fruit hunters they are in Florida 
<laughs> Rosaya, listen, link up. Fruit Hunters, they're in Florida. My code is Shanique Love for 10% off fruits. It's raining here and here. Yeah. Yeah, today was, yesterday was a better day. Yesterday I actually went um, walking with my daughter. She went, she rode her bike and I walked, I got some exercise. It was like 70 degrees and today it's like a little bit it's cooler and it's raining. New York, we never get good weather too long and that's what I don't like. That's a nice cutting board. Yes, that's why I show it because it's so nice. This is from Fat Boy Woodworks. If you want a personalized cutting board, you know let him know let me have let me have that please what would you like uh, it's re it really is i'm sorry i, I don't understand the, <laughs> the conversation what's going on but yes so um this is fruit hunters and my code is shanique love for 10 percent off and this one is from Fat Boy Woodworks. And this is my nice new cutting board that I have. And you can see all my delicious fruits down here. So again, I have mango. Yes, the cutting board is really nice. Not true? <laughs> Yo, I'm so happy about this. Like, I'm so happy about this. Where do you get the good vegan food in New York? Um, uh... Do you sell your juices if yes, um, where can you buy it? If you're in New York, you can get my juices. If you're not in New York, you can buy the juicer that I use. And I share my recipes with you and you could use it. Um, for food in New York, um, mm, uh, I, I really, I don't eat out a lot. Um, only like on special occasions and then I'll go and eat out um the last restaurant i went to i'm happy i found your page promoting a healthy lifestyle slowly but surely weaning yes i thank i'm thankful that i can be there for you and do that for you um yes you just have to do it slowly but um you know and slowly you incorporate um different meals like i did like a jerk i, I you could jerk tofu if you eat tofu some people don't eat tofu jerk tofu jerk mushrooms you could use the same seasonings that you normally would use on um other things like um you know like uh, mushrooms uh, where do you and where is where in my where can you buy the juice um, so I do have some of the juices on my um, website right now like if you click the link in the bio and you will see creative vegan um, sea moss you click there I believe right now I have pineapple pine and ginger um, watermelon um, I'm not sure I think I have carrots um, orange and carrot or something like that on there but just send me a DM and um, we could do that. Yes, the Nama, thank you for putting this. That's my code. Maybe you should pin it. I'm going to pin that. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. I need a moderator. <laughs> I guess you are it. I'm gonna, I can't pin it. I'm, okay, there we go. Pin. All right. Thanks for putting my code there. <laughs> Yes, and that's my code for my Nama J2. It's right over here. Oh, I could show you a little bit about it since we're here. Ah! It's, it's heavy. The cutting board is heavy. heavy. I almost jump out of my hand. All right, so this is the um cutting. This is the um the juicer, the Nama J2. So you have to assemble it outside. This is the base. The base is over here. Um, you have to assemble it like this before um, attaching it to the base, right? Um, hello, I'm from Saudi Arabia and I see you always. Hi, Saudi Arabia. Another beautiful country that I want to visit. Post a pic of the juicer on your page. Okay, I'll post a picture of it. I've, I have one, but I'll post another one. And I have a lot of videos. Like, um, uh, uh, 
my auntie is in Jamaica New York um, we'll see if she can order some juice okay um, so she's so she's not very tech savvy so just send me a message and um, we could work we could work something out I do deliver to Jamaica Queens no problem so this is the juicer this is how the, this is the front of the juicer out of the base right I watch you all the time thank you for watching yes I do also have some videos so um this is where the juice comes out this is where you open up and you see all the delicious juice flowing right here you see all the delicious juice flowing from here I'm using and then over here, this is the part where I was like so amazed by um, about this juicer. Now, this is where the pulp comes out. You can see the pulp comes out from here. But the cool part about this, um, the Nama juicer have different ones. Yes, yeah, so this is the latest one. This is the J2. There's also the Vitality. Both of them have the same engine. Um, so they will give you the same performance. The difference is this one has a hopper. Like you press this right here and it opens up and this is the hopper. You could just load all your fruits and veggies here to the line right here, right? So you just put all the fruits and veggies in here and after you do that, now there you could see like there's a blade right there. Inside there's a blade that actually cuts up the fruits for you. Uh, what do you do with the pulp? I always like feel like I'm wasting some nutrients. Um, with the pulp, you can't see, but I have a dehydrator over here also. Um, you can dehydrate, you can um, reuse the pulp. Um, I, with pure, um, I saw they made actually they use the pulp to make like a pasta like she um, Jen Jen made some pasta with the pulp left over like you could do a lot of different things uh, some pe someone told me that they use some of it as like facial scrub um, I compost a lot I I have a, a compost bin in my backyard and I put a lot of my um, my pulp in the compost bin and um, I then I'm going to use it for my garden. So that's how I'm, you know, using the pulp mostly. Uh, he said, "Oh, that's um, that's that's the difference." Okay. Uh, so what I was saying now with this part of the juicer, right? This is where the pulp comes out. You could there is this part that you could actually open up. And if you have, have if you have a uh, chew, I you I just throw it in my garden. Yes. Do you have a TikTok? Yes, I do have a TikTok. Um, just it's the same name, Shanique. That's what. It's the same name, Shanique, the Creative Vegan. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Pinterest, everywhere. So this is you open it right here and you can easily get the pulp out and it's like a one-way system so um, like the juice or all of that it won't come through here and it has this little part right here that you can actually take off and you clean that part right this is what like stops the juice from coming through and only the dry pulp comes through so you could just easily put it back inside you pull it off here put it back like this I can see it put it fits in like that and then you close it up so this way it's like so easy for you to clean the pulp and everything I'll show you over here on YouTube so you open this part you could clean out the pulp from here this part is removable you could reattach it close it up and that's it right so that's and uh, um to take this part off you just turn it and it comes off and inside of here i, I wasn't planning to do all of this <laughs> I'm, I'm really getting in, in it 
tonight. <laughs> I, I like coming on here. When I come on here, I get some nice good vibes and energy. So, I, And I like explaining things. So um, you open it up and you have um, you have everything in here. So it's easy to clean. And it's, this is the, um, the chamber here. This part goes in here. You have to make sure that it's flat, like that it's flushed. And then you take this and put it on. Uh, it's a good demonstration. Thank you. <laughs> My dad would love this. Um, this, um, his current juicer, sorry. His current juicer is too complicated, yeah. Yeah, so you just set up everything here. And then you just put it down. Once it's flat and flush, it could just easily lock in like this. And this part, you could remove it, wash it. It's it's easy to put together. But make sure someone had an issue with it. They couldn't assemble it because they were trying to do it while it was on the base. You have to, it has to be off the base first before you assemble it. See if I missed anything. So it's pretty easy. Oh, thank you, Rosaya. <laughs> thank you, my boom. Thank you. So this is, and Rosaya is saying that she's proud of me because I'm. You, you don't know this, but I'm super, super shy. I'm super private. <laughs> And like the first time she saw me here, she was like, she couldn't believe because of she's like Shanith, you, you know, I'm very private, but I I can't have all this information bottled up and not shared with you all. I have to share off topic. Your skin is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so um, all right. So you know, we're still wearing a lot of masks. Um, like you got to go into the story where the mask I used to get such bad breakouts and I still sometimes do I am too that's my setback and um, what I've been using is my daughter has a skincare line Zenzili skincare big up Zenzili and Uli and um, I've been using the charcoal um, the soap it's a charcoal and sulfur soap and it actually helps to Keep my skin. I am too. Um, keep my skin nice and clear. And um, in okay, you're too in, in regards of the shyness. Yes. Uh, her skincare line is Zenzili skincare. I'm gonna I'm gonna type it in here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna pin it in. And I'll put it also in my story so you could all see it. Skin care. Okay. And oh, and for, oh, for her, I also have a code, Shanique 10. Rosaya. <laughs> uh, my code is Shanique 10, and you could get 10% off. So um, she has soaps and uh, some body butters too. Shea butter, everything natural, plant based. Um, yes, you two get the breakout from your mask. Yeah, the mask really, it really does that. Like, um, there's something the fabric, whatever is made up of, it really does um, break up my skin more time. Yes, so definitely, I'm going there now. Okay, great, thanks. So, use Shanique 10 and you get 10% off. Um, of her store yes um, and she's right here on Instagram I, one day I think I should do a live with her <laughs> because you know she she's she she's shy too but she likes she likes this more than you know she feels more comfortable doing it
Fatboy Woodworks. Yes, Fatboy Woodworks. Big up. I was talking about you all night and I just saw that you came onto the live. Big up. I'm going to pin you now. Let me see if I could. Can I pin you? I don't know how to do it. <laughs> yeah, I use uh, the charcoal um, sulfur soap. But um, Fatboy Woodworks, um, he is. If you. Make a comment for me, Fat Boy Woodworks. Write something. Awesome. I need to check it out. Yes. Okay. This is Fat Boy Woodworks. Um. Uh. To get your information, do they have to send you a DM, or how would they um order? How could they order, uh, your cutting board? Um. Just um. Write it in the comment section below, so I could pin it. Yes, so everyone, they're, they're like, everybody said I'm going to love it. Everybody love it. <laughs> everybody love it. As you see right here, we have my nice Jamaica flag, right? And over here, so I have my logo. Nikki, Nikki can't hide. Yes, you need one. Yes, they can DM me. Okay, so all right so i'm going to in my story i'm going to take a nice picture of my new cutting board and i'm going to um tag um tag fat boy woodworks he's right there in the comment section right now i'm gonna let me see if i could pin that and i'll put also anoli's information there pin so okay so that's how his name that's how you it's woodwork, not woodworks. So let me put S by everything. So it's Fat Boy Woodwork. Um, so you could send him a DM, and that's where you could get this. You could get your own personalized cutting board. I'm sorry. I need water. <clears throat> That's where I got my cutting board. Big up all entrepreneurs, big up all small businesses, big up Rosaya, big up Fat Boy Woodworks, big up um, Kimmy. Uh, I'm gonna, like there's so many um, small businesses that, that I know personally, people here. And um, yeah, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put all of you in my store tonight. Definitely. So, um, send a DM to Fat Boy Woodwork if you want a beautiful cutting board like this. You know, you could get your own logo, whatever logo you have, whatever words that you want on it. Just order the turmeric sandal soap to try it out. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the support. So, yes. So, um, send Fat Boy Woodwork a DM and, um, you'll be able to get a nice cutting board like this. And for all, all the delicious fruits, just go to, um, fruithunters.com. The link is also in my bio. Um, where can, which soap do you use for your skincare line? So I could order it. I use, um, the, it's called Soul, um, um, soul coal like it's a sulfur and charcoal one is the black one that's the one I use that's the one that helps me with um, the breakup because you know it has um, the sulfur and the and the charcoal is really good for um, like acne and stuff like that yeah the boss yes so yes get your cutting board your personalized cutting board from Fat Boy Woodworks and your fruits from fruit hunters, and you know my, I have my both my juicers inside of my um in in my um the link in my bio. So you're welcome. You're welcome. So you could um get all the information there. See us if you need Irish mush. I don't. I'm looking to see. Do you have African soap bleach cream? I don't know. Does the African soap bleach your skin? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, what? No, no, no. The um the black soap does not bleach your skin. 
No, um, there's some black soap that I know some people add things to it that does that, but natural um, black soap does not. Um, it it just it does not be your skin. It just give you um. <laughs> don't laugh. Don't laugh. <laughs> I, you know, so I'm I'm back here, so I couldn't read it so properly. So I had to like lean in. And I'm like, mm -hmm. no, but it doesn't. Um, it doesn't bleach your skin. I use a black soap too. It doesn't bleach. Look, 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 look at my pretty complexion. Look at me, I bleach. <laughs> no, it doesn't bleach your skin. Yeah. So um, <laughs> Nikki can't I add. Yeah, so, yeah, so if you want, uh, yes, uh, we're all natural over here. <laughs> yes, Rosaya, we're all natural. <laughs> we're all natural. I don't, we, I, we don't support that. We don't support that. We, we just support, you You know, um, you should love the skin you're in. Love the skin that you're in. Whatever tone or complexion that is, you should love the skin that you're in. But I don't so um Anuli does not sell um any products to bleach the skin. Um the turmeric it it helps to brighten but it does not bleach or anything like that, you know. So yeah, you have to self love. Self love everyone, right? <laughs> yeah. So um have all the niceness, all the nice fruits and any other questions because i it's 12 o'clock but i think i'm gonna go on am and i'm also on amazon please follow me on my amazon account the link is right in the bio just click on it and follow me there um support please support me by just hitting that all you have to do is hit that follow button that's all right um to support me on my Amazon, I will. I think I'm gonna go live tonight. I have to go live um, tonight to showcase. Thank you, thank you. Some products. Um, I didn't plan on staying so long with you all, but you, you all were so nice. Please let me see the side of the cutting board. Okay, so this is the. Oh, I didn't show the back either because he put some. It's like some rubber grip. So let me show you more up close and personal. I'm, I'm sweating. <laughs> I have like these two big bright lights here. So, and this is the side. It's smooth. It's very smooth. You don't have to worry about any splinters or anything like that. So these are the sides. Okay. I hope that was good. It was a good display. I'm going to be like Vanna White. <laughs> So these are the sides. It's very good and um, it has the grip here. So when you put it down You don't have to worry about it sliding away. Oh, that's uh, so, Oh, that's good uh, So it's not flat on the surface Especially okay. Yes, especially. Oh, yeah when the surface is what yeah, it, he has like the grooves here So the water will settle here. So you don't have to worry about that Cool, it's thick enough, right? Yes. Happy Nurses Week, Nikki. Happy Nurses Week. Yes. Yeah, so yes, it has the groove, the indentation here, so the liquid will settle here, so you don't have to worry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it's twelve. So I think I'm gonna go um prepare some stuff, put away these fruits, and I'm gonna try for like twelve. Mm, probably 12 30 to go on amazon so um please hit that follow button follow me on my amazon make up for Zaya. i'm gonna tag everyone um and put their information um get get me one nice <laughs> okay so yeah this is a nice cutting board it's a very nice cutting board so um we deserve it. <laughs> Hi. Hi, love book. <laughs> yes. So, yes, this is a nice cutting board. It, like, 
I, I saw Reina's uh, and I'm like, mm -mm, I need one. I need a nice cutting board. And I'm like, she told me that she got it from Fat Boy Woodworks. And he hooked me up nice with my logo, everything on it. So definitely go check him out for the niceness. Yeah. So any other questions? If not, I'm going to have to leave you all for tonight. And this was wonderful. I'm going to... Be, I'm gonna try to come on live um, uh, more often. Oh, I can't forget. Most importantly, for the CMOS, there's a sale right now um, for Mother's Day. I have a sale. The code is MOM, M O M, easy. So if you want your CMOS, it's, um, I love it. Yeah. If you, um, my CMOS is currently on sale at this time, so just please um, use the code Make Up Derek. Yes, um, so um, use the code um, Mom to get um, to get twenty percent off. Do you ship? Yes, I do ship CMOS nationwide. Yes, all everywhere. So. Definitely, um, for the nice cutting board, go to Fat Boy Woodworks. Good night. You just join. You just join, and now I'm about to leave. <laughs> but since you just joined, I could go over this really quick. Um, so this right here is my cutting board from Fat Boy Woodworks. Um, woodwork. Uh, you could get it personalized and also went over some of these delicious fruits which I got from Fruit Hunters. My code is Shanique Love um, from the Papa which Mina Love <laughs> to the mango, to the Asian mango, to some white um, guavas. They had the pink ones. I think maybe it's not it's out of season now. And uh, do you you should open a restaurant maybe one day. <laughs> maybe one day and this is my sour stuff would look like a heart <laughs> it looks like a heart and um i also have my dragon fruit and everything and i have um my bananas right one hundred banana like a bunch of bananas like Growing up, my grandfather used to always say a hand, like a hand, like a hand of bananas, a bunch, same thing. So, um, yes, yeah, so big up all the nurses for Nurses Week. Big up all the moms. Happy Mother's Day on Sunday. Um, yeah. So, that's it. So, do you have a book full of your juice blanks? that will be coming soon i'm made of earth i will be um i will be dropping my my juice recipes my juice um cookbook i have a i have so much to to put out there but i just want i i strive for perfection too much till it's hindering me at this moment i i need to just put out myself thank you happy mother's day Thank you for the happy Mother's Day. Good night. That mixer, you, uh, what mixer you use? Okay, so I use, there's two. Remember you said gut health is important, so um, you should eat some papa. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna eat the papaya. <laughs> yes, I have two juicers. One is my Nama J2 hair and one is my pure juicer there. You can find both of them in the link in my bio. And use my discount code for 10% off. <laughs> I think you are one of the best around the land. Oh, thank you, Made for Earth. I appreciate you that. <laughs> oh gosh, you're funny. I'm, I'm gonna have to, I, I will have to um, force myself. <laughs> I will force myself with the papa. <laughs> we call it pop. So, like, we call it papa. So, if I say papa, you know it's papa I'm talking about, right? Uh, I just started juicing papa. Yes. And you can actually um, juice it when it's kind of green, too, you know. 
but um or I'm gonna see if I can make some recipes with the green one maybe that would be cool and share it with you but yeah <laughs> so yeah that's it that's the rundown of everything all the nice fruits and all the the woodworks of the juicer and all the niceness so uh, thank you all for watching um yes and I will see you soon peace and love Papa <laughs>